Jesus said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats this bread, he will live forever. The bread that I will give him is my flesh, which I give so that the world may live. This started an angry argument amongst them. How can this man give us his flesh to eat, they asked. Jesus said to them, I am telling you the truth. If you do not eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in yourselves. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them to life on the last day. For my flesh is the real food, my blood is the real drink. Those who eat my flesh and blood live in me, and I live in them. The living Father sent me, and because of him I live also. In the same way, whoever eats me will live because of me. This, then, is the bread that came down from heaven. It is not like the bread that your ancestors ate, they later died, but those who eat this bread will live forever. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today is the feast of Corpus Christi. It's a Latin word, Corpus Body Christi of Christ, the body of Christ. So we're thinking of the Eucharist, Holy Communion. It's also known as the Blessed Sacrament. Jesus is the body of Christ. And the church is the body of Christ. He is the head. We are the body. And in that blessed sacrament or Holy Communion, we receive the body of Christ. And we're asked to become like Christ. So who we receive, we are to become. We are to put his love into action. Christ is, of course, at the centre of this feast. And love is at the heart of this, of this feast as well. The death, uh, the passion death and resurrection of Jesus is the reason why we can have the Eucharist. The word Eucharist that we have is another, is a Greek word that means thanksgiving. So whenever we celebrate Mass, we celebrate Holy Communion, we are also thanking God for all the many blessings that are part of our lives, that we should thank God, go back to the source of those blessings. If anyone should ask us what is it what's unique about being a Catholic Christian. I always say, well, it's the, it's the authority of the, of the Pope, but it's also a real belief in the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. We believe that, that Jesus is truly present. When we receive Holy Communion and we say, Amen, we're saying, let it be so. Yes, Jesus is really present. He is the body of Christ. This year, of course, on this Feast of Corpus Christi, the body and blood of Jesus, we're not able to actually physically receive Holy Communion. Indeed, most of us for the last few months have been receiving spiritual communion, which has been a sacrifice and has been hard. So I just think on this particular feast of Corpus Christi, when we're not really able to receive Holy Communion, let's, let's just use this spiritual communion to, to yearn for the Lord when we are able to receive the Lord again, but also to challenge us to have a deep faith, understanding and trust and belief in this great gift to the Church of the body of Christ. Today, Jesus tells us that he is the living bread which has come down from heaven. But anyone who eats this bread will live forever. He goes on to say that the bread he gives is his flesh, and that whoever eats his flesh and drinks his blood lives in him and he lives in them. Every time we go to Mass, the bread and wine are changed into the body and blood of Jesus. When we come to share in it, even if we only have a blessing, welcoming Jesus into our lives. But why did Jesus choose to talk about bread? Bread is a very important food. It is a basic food eaten by people all over the world. It is an everyday food that all Jesus' listeners would have recognised and understood. Normally, we would be able to go to Mass and share in communion, so we remember how very special the bread at Mass is, because it becomes Jesus' body. We look forward to the time when we can go back to church and take part in this special meal again. We pray for all the people who make sure that we have bread to eat every day. The people who grow the ingredients, who make the flour. We pray for all the people who make bread around the world. The people who sell it and those who buy it for us to eat. Let us also pray for those who are struggling to get enough food to eat at this time. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the gifts you have given us. Watch over all your people and work through us so that all your children around the world may have enough to eat.